Today I'm going to show you how to go from your desk to a dinner in 10 minutes or less. These simple tips will show you how to alter your look from daytime to evening without having to wash everything off and start all over again because ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody has time for that. In today's video, I'm so excited and honored to have a fan of the channel model for us. This is Linda and you may recognize her from one of my previous videos called Simple Daytime Eye Makeup Tips for Women Over 50. In that video, I taught you a step-by-step -step application for a very flattering daytime look. And today we're taking that look and we're turning up the volume on it. Let's go. Tip number one has to do with the foundation or the building blocks of your initial application. If you're applying your makeup early in the morning and you still want it to look flawless late at night, then in your initial morning application, it's very important that you do two things. You need to be prepping your skin very, very well, and you need to be choosing the right foundation for the job and the job in this case is long wear. That's not always the case, right? Sometimes we're looking for a foundation that's light. Sometimes we're looking for something dewy or something really fresh. But if you know that on this particular day, you're going from your desk to dinner, then that morning you need to be choosing something long wear. That's why it's a really good idea as you're building up your makeup kit to have a couple of different foundation options. You may wanna have a light, really easy to apply daytime foundation like the L'Oreal H Perfect, or or even um, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better, that's a really good one. But then it's also a good idea to have a long wear option like L'Oreal Infallible or Estee Lauder Double Wear. Those foundations may feel too full coverage for everyday wear, but they are perfect for events or for very long days. Just so you guys know, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'm very active on that platform now. On there, I post a lot of flat lays that show my favorite products, who they're suited for, their price points, all of that stuff. I'm having a lot of fun on Instagram right now, and the content that I make on there is easily digestible. I basically, what I do is I take my long form videos that you guys see here, and then I condense the information into visuals and into reels that can help you more quickly. So if you find that presentation style helpful, that quicker presentation style, then you should follow me on there as well. I just posted a whole series on my favorite foundations that you guys might find really helpful when you're out shopping. Okay, before we really get into the nitty gritty of the foundation, let's rewind a little bit and talk about skin prep. So the preparation of the skin is often overlooked and it is the building block of everything else. Hydration issues are huge when it comes to makeup looking patchy, flaky, cakey, or even dull throughout the day. You may not notice it right away when you first apply your makeup, but several hours later, you may look in the mirror and notice that your foundation is starting to get really dry looking. Prepping your skin is essential for a long wear application so that your foundation doesn't do that because when it does that, it's very hard to touch it up later without removing it and starting again, which is exactly what we don't want to do, right? On Linda, as my first step, I use the City Beauty Uplift Firming Serum. This is a super concentrated formula that is specifically designed to help target wrinkles and sagging skin in about 30 minutes. You can see the results so quickly. It's awesome. What it does is it creates like a lifting effect on the skin. And I think one of the reasons why it works so well is because of the hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid really deeply hydrates the skin and then the hydrated skin looks healthier and plumper immediately. If you have very oily skin like myself, applying a serum like this before your foundation will be enough. But for most people, especially over the age of 50, you're also going to need a moisturizer on top of that serum. And you want to apply that moisturizer after the serum has absorbed. On Linda, after the serum, I applied the City Beauty Multi Action Sculpting Cream. And the reason that I chose that one is because it's a cream targeted at lifting, tightening, and firming. So there's actually a biopolymer in it that forms a supportive mesh over the skin to give it that younger, tighter looking appearance in minutes. I genuinely love these products so much. They've made my life so much easier as a makeup artist. So I am honored to partner with City Beauty today and to let you know that there is a huge sale going on right now from November 22nd to 27th, where you will get 40% off site wide. This is such a huge deal. You'll also get free US shipping on anything over $50, which is such a bonus. So just click on the links below in my description box. They're all there and you can check it out for yourself. So right now really is the time 
to buy it if you've wanted it for a while because the promotion is amazing. There is also a 60 day money back guarantee policy. So you literally have nothing to lose because if you don't like it, you can return it. But I have no doubt that you're going to love it. I really have no doubt that you're gonna love it. My clients are obsessed with it and so am I. All right, as promised, let's move along to foundation. Like I said, you wanna apply foundation that's really targeted towards longevity of wear. The foundation that I use on Linda is one that I use on all of my bridal clients because it's literally bulletproof, bulletproof, sweatproof. It's not gonna go anywhere, okay? You put it on in the morning and it looks exactly the same at nighttime and that's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. A budget-friendly option that's very, very similar to that one, I would even consider it to be a dupe, is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Now, here's an issue that may pop up if you have very dry skin. Sometimes long wear formulas, regardless of skin prep, will still be too drying for some women. If that's you, what you can do is mix the long wear formula with one of your creamier daytime foundations. So for example, on my client Monica in another video, I noticed that her skin was very dry, but she needed long wear because she had a date that night and I did her makeup in the morning. So I mixed Estee Lauder with L'Oreal Age Perfect to give her that creaminess and hydration plus long wear. If you haven't mixed your foundations before, try it. It's a great way to create exactly what you need without buying more. Tip number two is to smoke out and intensify your lash line for evening. So for Linda's daytime eye look, I used a dark brown liner. A brown liner is a great option for daytime because it still gives you loads of definition without any harshness. But for nighttime, you can easily step it up and go black. A really easy way to do that that doesn't look harsh is to take an angled brush, dip it into a black shadow, and go right on top of the brown liner. The black will mix with the brown and create a really defined but still soft looking eye. It's also much easier to blend a shadow than to go over something pre-existing with a liner. If you wanna then take it a step further, you can also add lashes. So fake lashes make such an enormous difference. <laughs> they just make a huge difference. My favorite ones are the Ardell Naked Lashes in number 420. They are so feathery and light. They add so much to the look while still being very comfortable to wear. And they also work really well on hooded eyes, which is great. I have them on today. You can see how they're very natural. They don't look you know, fake at all, but they just add a ton of drama and definition to the eyes. If you're still not happy and want to intensify the drama even more, so if you're someone like me, <laughs> after you apply them, you can also add several coats of mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Adding mascara after you apply lashes will blend your real lashes with the falsies and make them look a lot more natural. I keep meaning to make a really detailed false lash application video for you. Some of you were interested in that in the past. I got comments about it. If you're still interested in it, please comment down below. I prioritize the videos that I know you really want me to make. So if you want it, comment, okay? That's how you let me know what you want. All right, now let's talk a little bit about lips. Defining the lip line with a liner and adding a lipstick is a super easy way to look polished every day. So many women skip lipstick and it's such a shame because it's such a quick way to balance your features and look put together. For a daytime look, I like to stick with nude or nude pink tones. On Linda's day look, I use the very beloved Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick in medium. It's the second one. A lot of people don't know that this lipstick comes in three tones. You have the original, which is best for like light skin tones. You have the medium, which is best for medium skin tones like my skin tone. And then you also have the intense, which looks great on deep skin tones. Now, if you wanna alter your day look to an evening look, a very simple way to do that is to add a statement lip. Since the holidays are fast approaching, I wanted to show you a beautiful red. <laughs> the red that we used was a red that Linda actually had in her purse, and it's from a company called Alate Cosmetics. 
and it's in the shade Koi. Looked amazing, amazing on her. When you're applying red, make sure that you are really clearly defining the lip line and keeping things as symmetrical as you possibly can. If you need to tighten up the border of the mouth after the lipstick is on, you can do that by using a flat concealer brush and your foundation. Don't use your concealer because it will be a little thick around the mouth and it's gonna be really hard to blend out, but your foundation has that perfect consistency for like cleaning up the lines without having to you know, deal with something that's too thick and then hard to blend out. I was always cleaning up my lip line with concealer before and I realized it's not the right product for cleaning up the lip line. Use a foundation, much, much easier. Gets the job done with way less effort. On Linda, I wanted to deepen the tone of her lips a little bit more, so I also added a bit of the MAC E for Effortless on top of the color. It's also the color that I have on today. It's a really beautiful deep red. See, I wanted to match my nails. <laughs> my holiday look. As always, I'm gonna leave a list of all the products that I used on her in the description box below in case you want details. Tip number four is to intensify your blush. Blush is the first thing to fade during the day. So if you're refreshing in the office, make sure that you bring your blush with you. Also, if you add more to the eyes, and especially if you add a statement lip, you need more blush to balance the look. In makeup, it's very important that things look balanced. So if you're adding punches of color, you have to be sure that the other areas of the face are also balancing that out. A really great way to do that is just to add more blush. When I say things like we need to make sure to balance the face and la la la, it's like very overwhelming and complicated, right? Especially if you're not like a big time makeup lover. But whenever I say that, you know, if you add more to the eye, if you add more to the lip, you gotta balance the face. Really girl, all you gotta do is pop on a bit more bronzer and a bit more blush and then you're good. It's as simple as that. In Linda's daytime look, I use the MAC Glow Play Blush in the color Grand. Are you sick of me using that blush? <laughs> I love that blush. And then for the evening, I just went over that with a MAC powder blush to give it a little bit more punch. Finally, my last tip for you has to do with setting spray. It's a really good idea to get a setting spray. And there are a lot of different ones on the market that do different things. So for example, for a daytime look, when I wanna be natural and fresh, I'll reach for my Lottie London Dewy setting spray. That's a great one, you know, like a beachy, fresh spray. But if I want long wear in the morning, I'll use a setting spray that is targeted towards long wear, like the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. That's my favorite one for bridal clients because they have such long days and it's so important that their makeup looks perfect for it. You know, the whole entire time, Urban Decay All Nighter is the setting spray for that. It's the hairspray for your face. <laughs> one last little tip is that when you're refreshing your makeup in the evening, you can use that same setting spray again to bring everything back to life. It will add moisture to the makeup and revive everything again. Here's our finished look. This is our daytime look, and this is our amped up evening look. We deepened the lash line, we added lashes and a statement lip, and we refreshed the blush for balance. What do you guys think? Would you wear this? Let me know in the comments. This video is over.